Uh, governor Ted Strickland is on the line with us, the former governor of the great state of Ohio, where uh, it seems uh, elections go to be decided. Governor, welcome, <laughs> welcome to the program. It's uh, great to be with you. So Nate Silver has uh, bet Joe Scarborough a thousand bucks that President <laughs> Obama is going to win. And I'm guessing that he thinks that part of that path is going to go through Ohio. On the other hand, there is this machine out there. I mean, with the with the the, the Romney campaign passing out booklets to their to their poll watchers, telling them to tell give dishonest information to people who want to vote and to challenge voters and and you know trying to knock people off the rolls and whatnot. What what's going on in your state, sir? Well, it's really interesting. Uh, you know, Governor uh, Governor Romney's also involved in. Uh, uh, a real controversial uh, position that he's taken regarding the auto industry, uh, having claimed publicly that Chrysler was going to move jobs out of Ohio to China. Right. Um, that resulted in uh, you know the CEO of Chrysler putting forth a public statement uh, contradicting uh, what the governor Romney had said, and then uh, the governor doubled down on his claims and included GM uh, implied in his ads that. The GM was moving jobs out of Ohio to China, and so the CEO of GM, uh, through his spokesman, um, put out a strong statement. Yeah. Um, that particular issue has been dominating uh, the political discourse, I think, in Ohio over the last two days, and right. I think it's been, been very harmful to Governor Romney's uh, chances here in Ohio. Uh, the, the, uh, I, you know, I referenced the voter suppression efforts, and I know that there have been some some attempts to do that in Ohio as well, but it's happening all over the country. Um, the, the the American Legislative Exchange Council, ALEC, championed these laws, these photo photo ID, you know, multiple ID laws, whatever, um, and and has been pushing this. The co-founder of the American Legislative Exchange Council is a guy named Paul Weyrich, who who helped run the Reagan yes. campaign and both Bush campaigns. And if I may play for you 20 seconds of Paul Weyrich, he also was the co-founder of the Heritage Foundation, his yeah. thoughts on how Republicans can win campaigns uh, in the future. He, he was speaking to a group of Republicans in a church. Here he is. Now, now many of our Christians have what I call the goo-goo syndrome, good government. They want everybody to vote. I don't want everybody to vote. Elections are not won by a majority of people. They never have been from the beginning of our country, and they are not now. As a matter of fact, our leverage in the elections quite candidly goes up as the voting populace goes down. Republican strategy. What do we do? Well, I, you know, if I was a Republican, I would be uh, embarrassed um, uh, to belong to a party that would um, uh, agree with such a philosophy. Um, mm -hmm. It's elite elitism, uh, and it's wrong. And uh, I think that's why the Republican Party is in trouble these days. Yeah. Um, because I think the average citizen has figured out that these guys are not on our side. Well, um, yeah. They, and in fact, they know, have to they have to basically make stuff up to try and even have talking points. So there's a case in point, Chrysler. What you were just mentioning, Governor. Well, I think. I mean, I think. This auto situation and what uh, Governor Romney is saying and doing here in Ohio goes well beyond the auto issue. I think it gets to an issue of character, mm -hmm. honesty, uh, trustworthiness, um, and and uh, I think I think Governor Romney has a, has a problem with the truth, mm -hmm. and uh, I think the Republican Party has a fear of the voter, and yeah. that's why we've seen these multiple efforts to suppress the vote. Uh, to make it more difficult for people to vote. I mean, um, yeah. these people ought to be ashamed of themselves. Yeah. Uh, this you know, is America. Everybody uh, counts. Everybody should have an opportunity to participate. And um, I think they're going to lose this election. And if they don't change their ways, um, they're going to have a difficult time ever winning another national election. Yeah. You can't turn your back on... Uh, on on you know on uh, these uh, children who were brought here by their parents um, without uh, papers yep. um, and, and and the Dream Act and all and these things yeah. And yeah you are you're you just, you just you're, can't do that you're basically paraphrasing Dwight Eisenhower's letter to his brother Edgar in 1954 where he said you know any party that suggests we should do away with Social Security will never be heard from again. You know, and he said, I know that there's a small number of uh, Texas oil men who think it's possible, but their number is small and they are stupid. <laughs> he, was, he was right. Governor, former governor of Ohio, Ted Strickland, sir, thank you so much for dropping by today. Hey, it's great talking with you. Thank you Enjoy very much. Evening. Thank you. Uh, great talking with you.